Hey, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Kajapati and in this video, I will be talking about what are the different activity on mode in Azure Data Factory. So before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Big, SQL, Python and so on. So if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get started with the today's video. So let me open my portal or we can say Azure Data Factory here. I We have one pipeline and I have pulled one lookup activity. Now, if I click on it, then you can see we have these this option present over here. Success, failure, completion, skip. So what does it mean is that what action you want to perform when this activity completes it means i mean completes if it gets succeed then what operation you need to perform if it is fail then what operation you need to perform and then if you want to skip one of the one of the uh, you know one of the pipeline then you can use this skip option so let me do one thing let me quickly write here wait activity and drag it here now, right now, I am using this green color. Okay, it means if it gets succeed, then only I will have to call this uh, wait activity. So let me debug it. Now you can say it is running, and once it gets, uh, you know, it gets succeeded. So see, it gets succeeded. We got this green color tick, and that's why this wait activity uh, is triggered. Now. Let me break this link and let me click it again and let me use this failure option. So if I use this failure option and if I debug it again, then it will not uh, it will not be triggered this wrecked activity. Why so? Because our lookup activity has been run successfully. See, it is running fine and it will run fine. See, it is it got completed or got completed with with a with success message message. Okay, but we put this red color mark, red color link. That's why it got skipped. So let me do one thing. Let me let me give some random name. Okay, I wanted to make this uh, fail. So let me debug it now. If this pipeline, we can say, if this pipeline gets failed, then only this pipeline will be triggered. So I am refreshing it. See now it got failed. That's why this subsequent activity has been triggered. Now let me break this point and let me use completion mode. So if I if I link to the subsequent pipeline or we can say activity and if I if I change my source container to the correct one that is source and if I debug it then what will happen is that either it is failed or passed it doesn't matter if it completes it will trigger so let me debug it and let me show you so you can see it got succeeded and this wait activity has been triggered now what if what if if I give here one, two, three, a wrong container name, and if we, if I debug it again, if I debug it again, then it will fail. Not fail, it will fail. This activity will fail, but this wake wake activity will be triggered. Okay, so let me refresh it. It is in queued. Okay. You, you can see this has been failed, but even though, even though this wake active wake activity has been triggered. Okay, now let me break the point and let me use this skip option. So if I use skip option, then I do not want to run this. I do not want to run this wake activity. Okay, so for that, let me correct the name of the container and let me debug it so if i debugging it
you can say you can say this you know this activity has been skipped okay so these these are the difference between the modes we can say or add activity i mean activity on modes of a pipeline so you can see this options in all the activities you can see here also we have four options in if you take copy data activity metadata activity and everywhere we have these four options so based on your scenario you can use these options and uh, create a pipeline so for this video that's it i hope you have liked the video if you do do subscribe and share to my channel bye bye